Alice is having a party. Mm, forget it. Her parents are in the kitchen all night. I need a Frank as a deacon. We'll never get it. What about Johnny Depp's new movie? Uh, I don't know. Hey, check out the guys at the window. No, oh, they look like losers to me. So what tattoo are you getting? I can't decide. Does it hurt a lot? I felt worse. Decide already, Hannah. It's stuck between a butterfly tattoo or angel wings on my ankle. Go for the butterfly. It'll match your Dracula lipstick. Good point. Maybe I should get a tattoo on both ankles. How much would it cost? Could be a couple of hundred bucks. Oh, I'm late. Forget it. I have to go. Go? Where do you have to go? My Aunt Ava's. Or Passover. Passover? Yeah, that's the cracker thing. I'll call you guys later about tonight. <laughs> begin their Passover holiday this evening. They are not allowed to eat bread, but only what they call matzo. Say thank you to your mother. Oh, do I have to go? We're not going through this again. Get dressed. Why do I have to go? It's a waste of time. Some things you have to do because you have to do them. Come on, Mom. We're going because it's important. Why is it important? It's important because I say it's important. That's shrewd, Mom. That's really shrewd. Where the light shine on my face, no disgrace to blush or stop short of my heart. In a section of state and main, two strong roots, what keeps me apart? What's between? And every time I see you, you say the same thing. Well, the shape of your mouth, the color of your eyes. You are blessed with her beauty. And her name. If her name lives on in you, nothing can give me greater pleasure. Why don't you tell me more about her? You wouldn't understand. Understand what? What it was like in the camps. What we lived through, if we lived. What it was to be a Jew. This experience is so far from your world, I am afraid. Though I so want to tell you what happened, it will mean nothing to you. And that would hurt me very much. You see? Mm -hmm. Good. Now come. Fast plug, short term. Don't do it, you're a baby. You don't remember Sandra Kugelman? I remember Sandra Kugelman. We were in school together from mm. kindergarten, sixth grade. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Sydney Holland? Oh, I had such a crush on Sydney Holland. Yeah, that's when I know it. Oh my God, I used to write him love letters. No. I swear to God, and I've never told anybody this. this is very 
I was thinking. When he found out it was me, it wasn't me. <laughs> Balanced mutual fund, something like that. Give me a call next week. And you set it up. Did I ever tell you, kind of, about life in Yana before the war? Lots of times, Uncle Morris. It's an interesting story. Not as interesting as the story I can tell you. In the camp, there were some young Jews, yeshiva bochas, and they. That's students. She doesn't know from Buches. Oh, I don't make a federal case out of it. Students, yeshiva students, and they try to make an escape. But the Nazi pigs, they set up a trap, and they were caught. And that's because they knew before that I they I think were... they're starting the Seder now, Uncle Abe. You can tell me the rest of the story later. It was in the book, the arithmetic, the numbers. You add, you subtract, and there are no more Jews. Come, children, Morris, Abe. We praise you, eternal our God, ruler of the universe, who makes us holy by thy mitzvah and commands us to light the festival lights. Amen. 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 Blessed art thou, eternal our God, ruler of the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. Amen. 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 Why is this night different from all other nights? On all other nights, we eat either leavened bread or unleavened bread. On all other nights, we eat herbs of any kind. On this night, why only bear herbs? We were slaves of Pharaoh, and the Eternal, our God, brought us out. Now, if God had not brought us out, our children and our children's children would still be enslaved in Egypt. Therefore, even were we all wise, all men of understanding, and even if we were all old and well-learned in the Torah, it would still be our duty to tell the story of the departure from Egypt. Anna, it's your turn to read. Come on. It is told that Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Joshua, Rabbi Eleazar, the son of Azariah, Rabbi Akiba, and Rabbi Tarfon sat all night in B'nai Brak telling the story of the exodus from Egypt. You're drinking too much. Mom, give me a break. I'm trying to be religious. I'm starting to like this holiday. Are you all right? I'm loaded. The way you speak. I'll never get over it. The cup of Elijah the prophet, who visits his Jewish family and drinks a drop of wine. Go and open the door and let Elijah in. I want to. I want to. But Grandpa Jeremy did it last year. Hannah will open the door. Oh, Aunt Eva. Please, do it for me. Come.
Are you feeling all right, child? Does anything hurt you? Will someone please tell me what's going on here? What is this place? Where did you people come from? Don't you remember? Remember what? You felt very sick, Hannah. This is your first day out of bed. You've got to be kidding me. I haven't been sick. I never get sick. Where is everybody? Where are my parents? Sit down, child. We will tell you. I'm sorry, Hannah. This has been a tragedy for all of us. But most of all for you. The fever took your parents away. It's a miracle that you're still with us. Will you repeat what you just said? No. No, you don't have to. You should know my parents are still alive and I want to go back to New Rochelle. Who? What is that? New Rochelle. I'm from New Rochelle. Hannah, you're from Loblin. You've been very ill. It's the fever. Let's begin at the beginning. I'm your cousin Marivka, and this is my mother, your aunt Mina. And I'm Hannah Stern, right? Yes, and you're from Lublin, Poland, where you lived with your parents of blessed memory. Is it a bad dream? Am I having a bad dream? Honey, you're still weak. Calm down. It must be the wine. I drink too much of the cedar. Here, come rest. You'll feel better. You do look familiar to me. I should think so. We are cousins, see? Here, lay down. Listen, something is wrong. I'm not crazy, Rivka, and I'm not dreaming. Please believe me. Uh, Anna, you almost left us. You had a burning fever for nearly two weeks. You're just recovering now, and I think that we should feel grateful for that. I'm gonna try and rest. You do this for me? you get ready. For what? For the wedding. I'm getting married? No. Silly Leah is marrying Shmuel, the yeshiva student. And I have picked out the prettiest dress for you to wear to the wedding. Yeah. Oh. No, thank you. I'll wear my own dress. Your taste is too virginal for me. Of course. What else should it be? I suppose you're used to big stores in fancy clothes. Malls, actually. Yeah. This isn't a dream, is it? No, Hannah. This is real. I'm afraid I'm going to have to believe it's a dream. Or I'll lose my mind. If they're all you've been through, you don't have to apologize to me. This is your home now. And I don't think that we should ever hide anything from each other. All right? Mm -hmm.
look lovely. Weird. The way you speak, I'll never get over it. Come. We don't want to be late. Mama? I want to take Hannah to Mendel's. No. It's out of the question. Mama, please. I promise I won't ask for anything for the whole month. It's too much money. Please. Please, please, my dear sweet mother, please. You see how she gets her way? <laughs> Thank you. Come. There's so much I want to show you. Vizka. I'll see you at the wedding. And show yourself, Hannah. So I'm in another country? Oh, I wish I could do something that would make you feel better. Come, we'll have fun. Soon we will enter the world famous village of Yonov. <laughs> My Uncle Abe was always trying to tell me about Yonov. But I never listened to him. How are you? Hello, Yasov. Well, it's not an exciting city, but uh, it is where we live. And we are very happy here. Come. He's very nervous, so no criticisms. And above everything else, be compassionate. It'll be a mitzvah for you. How long does it take for a man to get dressed? He's been there for... Shh! He's coming. say from the bottom of my heart is that you look absolutely gorgeous. You're not joking with me, Isaac. Joking? On this occasion of such solemnity? Never. Please, take my arm and we will proceed to the house of the luckiest woman in town. Your future wife. Someone is looking this way. Yes, I see him. It's Ario. Rabbi son. They say he will be a very great man. Hold your chin up. Up. Your camera is so gigantic. It's the latest. Consider it quite portable. My father has a Nikon. Now, Crystal. Very still. Serious. And one, two, and. After the wedding, we'll get the picture from Mendo. Rivka! Oh, Esther, Miriam. Hello. So, this is Hannah from Lublin? Yes, my cousin. And my best friend. Hannah, I want you to meet Esther and Miriam. You see, we have all been waiting to meet you. Have you ever seen a moving picture? Movies? Sure, just about every week. Shh, every week. What's going on? <laughs> the Deccan. Let's go. Ariel, I, I must tell you that I am extremely anxious and I feel nauseous. You're not feeling too badly. If I were in your shoes, I'd probably be in the hospital by now. <laughs> <laughs> but what's strange is that uh, in spite of my anxiety and everything, I have, I am happier now than I have ever been in my whole life. Right before the ceremony is the Deccan. It's the unveiling of the bride. Nathan is in Lubov on business, so forgive him for not being here. When do you expect the baby? Around Hanukkah. How wonderful! A Hanukkah baby. Make sure you don't dance too much. I won't. But I will kiss you for good luck. Oh, my 
What's happening now? It's a tradition to remind us what happened to Jacob. What happened to him? You really have been ill. The bride was veiled. So Jacob thought that he was marrying Rachel, but he was really marrying her sister. Oh. seven times and this binds them together as a couple each circle it represents the seven days that the world was created hmm. blessed are you lord our god king of the universe who has sanctified us with his commandments and commands us concerning illicit marriages Forbidden to us the betrothed and permitted to us those who are married to us through the rite of Chopa and Kedushin. On this 26th of October, in the year 5703 of the creation of the world in Yanuf, Poland, the groom, Shmuel Lubitsch, will take the virgin Leah Shishko, daughter of Rachel Shishko, and Mordecai Shishko, he his wife, according to the customs of Moses and Israel. He will respect, feed, and take care of her according to the rights of Israel. We would like to invite Ariel and Isaac to act as witnesses to this ceremony. Please join us at the chuppah. By this dream, you are consecrated to me by the traditions of Moses and of Israel. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has created all things for his glory. May the barren one rejoice and be happy at the gathering of the children to our midst. Blessed are you, Lord, who gladden time with her children. Grant abundant joy to these friends. Blessed are you, Lord, who gladdens the boon and bride. Everyone out! 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 Everyone
Jews of Yano, you are being relocated to the east to work in factories for the German war effort. It is government policy. All your needs will be provided for. This way to the trucks, ladies and gentlemen. We cannot just go. Plans need to be made. Clothing to be packed. Food to be provided for the... You will want for nothing. We want nothing. Except to be left alone. In this matter, we are making the rules. When you get to your new home, anyone who wants to work will be treated humanely. And you will be happy among your own people. Each and every Jew from the Eastern Territories is being relocated. Let us discuss this. Let, let us try. my wife. Yes. Nothing will change that. We will always be together. Always. I promise. <laughs> I love you. Perhaps you will forgive me if under these circumstances I introduce myself to you. I'd like that. Anna. Ariel Gershon. Allow me to introduce you to my family. My father Nochem, the rabbi. My mother Hannah. That is your name also. Hannah? Yes. I'm surprised you do not know this. This is my little brother Dovid and my two sisters, Sylvia and Jenny. This is my cousin Rivka and my aunt Mina. I would also introduce you to my friends Shmuel and Leah, but they seem very busy. It's so cold. Here, I hold you. How will we take care of our children? Mama, I'm so afraid. Mama, I must make myself look smaller. Mandel, would you be kind and let me have your belt? What will keep my hands up? I'll freeze till death. Excuse me. Don't tell Esther. She gave it to me for a birthday present. I must keep my baby alive for Nathan. 
time. It's just so cold. It's cold here. This will keep you warm. And soon we will be in a place where we will be sweating because it will have a fireplace that will be burning. It will be so hot that we will have to stand outside our new house. Gerson from the village of Janov. May I speak with you privately, please? Privately? Why privately? We are among friends. I give you my personal guarantee that everything of value that we have will be given to your guards. There is no need for this violence. No need? Ach, why didn't I think of that? That is an excellent suggestion, Rabbi. But step away and let the Jews fill the wheelbarrows themselves. And if anything of value is withheld from us, then the rabbi and myself will have a private conversation. Let me help you. Do not take the her. Mach weiter! You den Schweine! Lass los! Esther! Go now, I said! Esther. You out! Leia, Louis. Outside! Quickly! Oh, you cannot be fancy now. 
for the new arrivals. 80 men, 70 women, and 13 below the age of 10. So how many have we terminated since the last arrivals? 123. Uh, aren't you pleased with how I'm proceeding? Why did you allow the rabbi to embarrass you? Oh, the, the rabbi, yeah. <sighs> I have a special plan for him, which I think you will approve of. Is there anything else? Herr Hitler. Where do we sleep? Wherever it pleases you. Except, of course, where I sleep. It would be indecent for us to sleep on top of each other. Are we going to have dinner? It's bedtime. All of you to bed. Our way will come in with a box. To bed. There is space here for your friends. Where is your mother? Come rest with us. If you want food, get in line. Hungry Jews are dead Jews. Dead Jews do not work. Get 
another. She says she won't eat. Sarah, you must eat, okay? You don't want to get sick, do you? Okay, we're looking for your mommy and daddy and we'll find them soon. But you must eat, okay? Do this for Rivka and me. Here, eat some bread. coming out of the woods. The belt cuts into my stomach. I'm afraid it's hurting the baby. Wrap this around you tightly. Here, Yetta. If they should find out... They're not looking for pregnant women. But after the baby comes... We will talk about that when we have to talk about that. Here, I stole a piece of bread tonight. Take it. No, I can't. Yet, uh, please. For the baby. The baby, yes. Yeah. I was thinking about how much help I could be to all of us. What do you mean? I had a history teacher who spent a whole semester talking about the Jews during the war. You know what I was doing? I was writing notes to my friends. I have no idea what my teacher said. The only thing I remember is that no one paid any attention to all of us. You have a very vivid imagination. And it is causing you much needless pain. I wish that was true. What were we saying when the Nazis interrupted us? I forget. It was so long ago. I was about to say that I heard you arrived the very same day from Lublin. Oh. I don't remember anymore. Remember what? Where I came from. Where I'm going. And you want to know something? I don't care. I share your confusion. Except... I do care. I would like, before I don't care anymore, to spend an afternoon with you. Perhaps walking through the forest of Yanov. Are you asking me for a date? Yes. That is what I'm asking. Well, I accept your offer. And only, instead of walking in the forest, maybe we could go to the movies in Times Square in New York City. <laughs> a fantastic suggestion. to it very much. Yeah. Up, up, attention! They're coming down.
I'm told Rabbi Gershon is concerned that typhus is spreading among the women. His wife and two daughters may be in danger. This one? This one? And this one? Typhus! Your mother and sisters, they were taken from that barrack this morning. They say we have types. Is it? Mama. Sylvia. Jenny. They were taken. They say they have typhus. Say Kaddish. Mama, I would really love to hear one of your stories about the future right now. I'm not in the mood. Really? All right. In the future, the Jews who survive, Jews will God. survive. After the war, Jews will go to America and live normal lives. And they will be safe there. Of course. But will we eat in America? Pizza. Pizza? Oh. It's delicious food. It's like thin bread with tomato sauce and cheese melted on top. I like mine with mushrooms and olives. And besides pizza, there's cheeseburgers and french fries. Cheeseburgers and french fries? <laughs> well, cheeseburgers aren't exactly kosher, so I guess the Jews who come to America will have to eat veggie burgers. That's burgers made out of vegetables. You have such a vivid imagination. Please, can we listen more? Tell us another story. Please. More. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Dorothy. She lived with her dog Toto in Kansas. That's in America. How could you frighten everybody like that, she said. You know what the lion said? He just burst into tears. He cried like a baby. Why? You're not brave. Not brave at all, said Dorothy. You're nothing but a coward. That's right, said the lion. Nothing but a coward. I'm melting. I'm melting, cried the wicked witch. And she dissolved into a puddle. You've killed her, they said. I didn't mean to, said Dorothy. But then Dorothy said, There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Was it real? I used to think it was just a dream. 
But now, I'm not so sure. Scared. Of what? The wicked witch of the West. Shh. It's just a story. Okay, it's only a story. Let's go to bed. What have you been doing? Everything. Nothing. Praying. Will you teach me how to pray? <sighs> Will you? I'm no longer confident that I know how to pray properly. But I will tell you what I do. I speak so quietly that only God can hear me. I have a little gift for you. Hide it. Our picture from Mendel. Where did you find this? Ariel gave it to me. You keep it. No. Yeah. No. Yes. It's for you. Maybe sometime in the future you'll make a copy for me. I will do that. Ariel is planning an escape. What? Yeah. Yeah, him and some of the other men. Yeah, they bribed the guard Hans. Oh my God. What? I know this. I know it. My Uncle Abe, he tried to tell me at the Seder. Come on. No, what did he say? No. Anna. I said. Anna, don't. No, I can't. I have to remember. What did he say to me? I have to remember. Oh, what was it? Rabbi! <coughs> Ariel's escape. The guard he's bribing. It's a trap. You have to warn him. I will try if he will listen to me. <coughs> he said that he could not go on living like this. I will try.
keep thinking of my Aunt Eva. Who is this? She lived through this. All this. Oh, I should have tried to see her more. I should have. I should have. I should have. Calm down. Calm down. Do you know what a stupid girl I used to be? I almost got one of these put on. Can you believe that? I wanted to get that too. Don't talk foolishness. Shh. It is foolishness, isn't it? My whole life has been foolishness. I'm being punished. That's it. God is punishing me. I forbid you to say that. Is God punishing me? Is he punishing the children? No. I won't believe that. Then why? Why? Ask them. Why? Ask the Nazis, not me. Don't ask me. I stole these scarves for you and Livka. Join us. You're not going through with it, are you? Don't. You won't get away with it. It's a trap. You're famous for your imagination, Hannah. But I know. You have to believe me. Even if what you say is true, I would still go through with it. At least we'll die like human beings. There is so much I want to say to you that my voice is choked. Well, you don't have to talk. Look at me and I can hear everything you cannot say. Permit me to be frivolous. What will our first meal be together when I come home from my studies? It would be simple. A knedel soup. A plain piece of meat with horseradish. And for dessert, I will think of something very sweet. Move! Move! No talking! There's 
those men, these pieces of in your Jew language dreck, tried to escape last night. Escape? And where would they have gone to? To the minefields? To the woods? To starve? To the town where no decent pole would give them shelter? This camp is in the middle of nowhere. Remember that you are in the middle of nowhere. I see I have been too easy on you. I have made you into my pets, yeah. That is what they call you, you know. My dirty little pets. I have been too kind. And this is how you reward my generosity. Silence! I can't believe he's dead. I can't believe it. Come back to bed to make yourself sick. Oh, Come close. I don't want to live like this anymore. It's too painful. I wish I was... Shh. Don't. No, don't say that. Karma. What you have been doing has been so wonderful for us. What have I been doing? Your stories. They've been keeping us alive. Me alive. 
But most of all, the children. Help. They give us hope. Yeah, they help us think about the future. But you don't believe my stories about New Rochelle and my relatives are true. They are true up here. And that is all that counts. Did you really think that you could keep this a secret from me? Where have you hidden it? Am I getting warmer? You know very well we don't allow babies for a very simple reason. They cannot work. the rules. Then I will go too. Oh, this is useless. If you do not let me go with my child, I will kill you. I swear I will kill you. And neither God nor the devil will stop me. Yes. I never say no to a lady. No. No. You cannot be that inhuman. You cannot. The baby is not yours to take. The mother is not yours to take. You are a dog, and you will burn in hell. I'm sure I will. There's no doubt about it. But I warn you, woman, to mind your tongue or I'll have it ripped out of your mouth. Do you think you frighten me? Do you think you can take any more from me than you have already taken? Ah. Ah. Oh. Since both these ladies have offered to accompany the baby, please be so kind as to accompany them. Where are you taking them? Fine girl, but that would be impossible here. Just tell me what to do. I want to do it for Rivka. Ever since they took Mina away, she's always depressed. Please. And also for me. We'll hide the flower here. Where did you get it? The guard Becker. I gave him his wedding stockings. The right way is to shoot them at the base of the neck. It's much less less. Here, let me show you. Right here. That's where you shoot. Here, go on. There. Lower. There. Lower. Here. Good. And shall I shoot her? Why not? Please don't, sir. She's a good worker. We need good workers. It would be wasteful to shoot her. You don't want your friend to die. You see, 
They'll do anything to delay the inevitable. Isn't that true, Jewess? Yes. He saved my life. He would do the same for me. I don't want to die. None of us do. We won't let it happen. We must remember who we are and what we saw. We must fight to stay alive so we can tell everyone what we've been through. The matzahs are beautiful. I can't believe we made them. Here, go put them on the table. <coughs> Are you all right? Yes. <coughs> yes. You should lie down. I will. First, I have to tell you a secret. Can I tell you a secret? Always. I'm going to use one of the names you told me in your stories. When all this is over, I call myself Ava. Survive. Oh, but you will survive. You will. I promise you. I'm tired. We praise you, eternal our God, ruler of the universe, who makes us holy by his mitzvah and commands us to light the sacred candles. I'm confused as to what happens next. The wine. But we don't have any wine. Then we must eat the matzos next. Do you know? Yes, I'll say the prayer. Blessed art thou, eternal our God, ruler of the universe, who made us holy with his commandments and command us with the eating of matzah. Blessed art thou, eternal our God, ruler of the universe, who made us holy with his commandments and commanded us to the eating of the bitter herbs. Since we don't have anything for dinner, we must pretend we have already eaten, and then we will open the door for Elijah. Anna should open the door to Elijah. Why? Why do you choose me? I don't know. Your name came first to my mind. Go, Anna. Open the door. Go. I love you. I will never forget you. Can I go with you? With me? To open the door for the Elijah. Yes. Yes, we will go together. She can work with the woman. Your name? Sarah 
updates. Get back inside. Are you satisfied with the projected estimates? Arrivals will be 114 men, 92 women, and 31 below the age of 10. And terminated from the last batch? 142. Well, aren't you pleased with how I'm proceeding? I'm not pleased. If you do not keep the pace with the numbers, you and you alone will face the consequences. Bertrand, what is she doing? She's disturbed. I have requested oh, her. Shut up. Take her away. Jawohl, Herr Kommandant. That one. And that one. And that one. Immediately. <coughs> <coughs> That one. Quiet. <coughs> that one. She is sick. Get rid of her. She's not here, Commandant. She's not. She's just a little tired. That's all it is. Get back to work. Take off your scarf. Give that it one. To yes, sir. Return to argue. Give it to me. <coughs> You are to stay here and say nothing what you and do nothing. Child? Yes. This child can't work. Whisper, listen to me. This is the future. This is what is meant to be. I will survive too. I promise you. Oh, no. Eight old women. Take them away. He won't know. And they all look and the same. One with a rag on her head. She is sick. We will be together again. I promise you. It's not my imagination. Can you not see she is sick? Come on, let's go. Not a word. I'll end your miserable life right here. Close. Now!
Oh, thank God she's moving. Didn't I say it wasn't serious? Tell me all. You drank too much wine, honey. Am I home? No, sweetie. We're at Aunt Ava's. Ava! Where's Aunt Ava? Here, darling. Here I am. We were so worried. You don't know how glad I am to see you. My Rivka. Please, could you excuse us one moment? Just one moment, please. And this is Hannah, the girl I was named after. Yes. She was my cousin. You once offered to give me this picture. Did I? I have no recollection. But if I offer, I will make a copy and you will have it. She's dead. Isn't she? Yes. She's dead. When we were in the camp. Yes. She saved your life and went instead of me. To the gas. How do you know this? How? Maybe it's from my imagination. Maybe it's from a dream I had. I don't know. But what I still don't understand is how so many people could be punished. Men, women, and babies who didn't even have a chance to think of that thought. Once I would have said you have to ask the Nazis. But now, I know better. And I say you have to ask them. There is no one else. Do you know how to talk to God, Anna? So quietly that only God can hear me. Oh, yes. And I will always remember what happened. Always. Yes. Remember.